According to Pokemon Law, all Pokemon must be looking on the right side. However, my Electabuzz, being the rebel that it is, is looking to the left. I think probably will. I was also doing that, but man, come on, why is it like most of these Pokemon looking one direction and you've got like Electabuzz who's like, nope. Maybe it means that's why it's exclusive. Then wait, you're exclusive too. Hold on. I might be on to something here. Are exclusive Pokemon facing wait, you're all facing left. Wait. Yeah, so. Wait, what? Hold on, what's going on here? Why do you flip? And you don't... What? Maybe he just doesn't like me, guys. Maybe he just doesn't like me. Anyway, I gotta get to cinema. What am I doing? Yeah. So if you guys did notice, and I don't blame you, if you push the select button, you can actually switch between your inventory. It's a nice little feature when you hit the master ball and do not want to use it. Anyway, for our adventure in this episode, in Pokemon Fire Red post-game, we are going to be heading this way. We can, just a reminder to your, to everyone here, you can actually catch these Pokemon before post, but I'm, I forgot to, my, do. Well, Geo dude, you live a full life. You're going to die to a tentacle. Hurry up and run. Run on the surface of the water. You can do it. I believe in you. I'm going to cut to I get out here. Yeah. So as I was saying, you can do this before post game, but I'm doing it now because yeah, I forgot to fight the trainers around here, didn't I? <laughs> this is post game, where we do things before post game, after post game. Anyway, we might as well beat this trainer up. Because this is going to be a long episode, this could be a two-parter. Uh, the seafoam islands are not something to tilt your head and go about. They are dungeons. Or oh, is a dungeon. It, it, it has two entrances. That's what, yeah. Anyway. It shouldn't take us too long to get through it, but we still have to, we have to do an Articuno fight, which may not go as smoothly as Zapdos. It may go as badly as a Moltres. Oh, we're doing this again, aren't we? Great. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be related to, uh, Agatha, would you? You know? Mm. Do we need to actually see me beat a cloister up? Terribly beat a cloister up, I might have. Yeah, we don't need to see this. Okay, we took one hit, and it took us four hits to take it out, but we did it. And she's lost her pearls. Oh. Now, let's try to avoid... Encounters today. Just want to mess with me. Anyway, let's try to avoid trainers. I believe we have to maybe mentally fight one of these. Ooh, we did if we have to get straight forward, but we're not gonna fight her. We don't need to. So anyway, man, two steps into a cave, and what are we running to a Psyduck? Yeah, I've got a headache too, Psyduck. I've got one too. Anyway, three steps in. Actually, I think this is the wrong entrance. We may have to have to go the other way. Ooh. Have I made a mistake? No, I think actually I could surf you. Alright. Stupid, stupid, stupid me. We have to go the other way. I'll meet you guys on... No, what is it? Whatever. Ah, oh, the gold duck. Ah. Okay, now that we're in the world of Star Fox in uh, Fuchesa. Future. Fuchsia, there we go. We are going to go head downwards. And not fight any drainers, hopefully. Avoiding all your drainers. Because I don't want to fight you. I'm going to sneeze in a second. But it'll be a tentacle. Uh, tents are not cool, guys. Keep that in mind. They're annoying and don't leave your... Yep, yep. Needs traffic today. It's gonna take us six minutes to actually get to the actual dungeon. Because I was stupid and forgot which way was the way you could enter from. <sighs> like, why can't you go through the car? It's too It's too. Uh, bleh, let me speak. It's too strong, so you can't speak. Speak. 
you can't surf through it. However, if you fall into that area, you get dragged around the current. So why can't we just start off getting dragged on? It's, it's, I don't want to take a long detour. I just don't. Anyway, the actual entrance to the Sea of Islands is on this side. So we can find many items here, such as this first one being an ice heel. How appropriate? Anyway, what we have to do in this dungeon is, as you can see that hole there, we have to push boulders into the holes. And there's a Psyduck. Go away Psyduck. We might not actually start the real post game until 5 episodes in at this rate. Now, we just boulder, push into the hole. Then follow it. Make sure you follow the boulder. Why does it take me so long to pronounce boulder? Well, I need... I don't know. Speaking problems today. So I'm gonna get you a handy dandy do that dude. And push the boulder into the hole. Follow the hole because you have to push into more holes. I don't know how many holes exactly, I think it's three floors of holes. But then again, I wanna make sure. I think there's, there might be one more after this, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. But either way, I think I'm gonna get taken to a spot where I can recover from, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, look, this is what I've been doing before. You can get dragged by the currents. However, that doesn't mean anything if you can't start on the current. And there's that Psyduck again. Just looking at us. Menacingly. Yeah, this would be a good place to catch Pokemon. I mean, level 38, some water, that's pretty good. Okay, so it's climb this area, and we find that we cannot climb no more. But not to worry, there's one more ladder around here somewhere. Let's have to find it. Ah, seal. They evolved the Dugon, you know, that Pokemon we saw in the Elite Four. You know, the one that got hit by Thunderbolt and died. Still don't remember? Oh well. Just in case you forgot already, that's a seal. It evolved into Dugon. Now, continue our adventure. This is an area we can actually push a boulder through. Grow bats. See how many zoo bats we don't see today. I'm gonna skip battles from now on. It was a Psyduck. Now, continue my adventure. If we go up this way, push the boulder. Yeah, I'll do exactly as I say. Do this properly. It was the same Psyduck. Now, push this one out of the way. I just want to get that one out of the way now so I can push this one easily into the hole. Now, if we get this way, and go all the way up here, we found out Lacuna. <laughs> anyway, we've already beat the dungeon. But uh, just for the sake of clarity, um, the, other, the other boulders to stop so you can get an item, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Or could this be a shortcut to get back from the other end? But, oh, I've stay too many times. Let's listen to this music. It loops from there. So, Anakuno! Not shiny. We start this fight off with a boomerang because we're dumbasses and we forgot your flying type. Anyway, let's go with Rock Tomb. Uh, assuming that we survived this ice cream. Well, we're frozen. And we missed! Excellent stuff. Now just for clarification again, speed doesn't actually increase your dodging, however it seems like it does. Mind Reader works the same as Lock-On, next move is automatic hit, but maybe no Vice Beam, so yeah. Was that half, or was that go leave it with one? Uh, let's just go for it. Because we have had chances we have had times where the moves decreased in power for some odd reason. And we killed it! Yeah, this is gonna be great. Be right back. Okay, this time I've decided to start the battle off with Jolteon Flare. Because it will definitely not kill it, right Jolteon? You're not gonna kill it with Thunderbolt? 
And I'm not going to kill it with Thunderbolt, right? Good, Jolteon. I won't kill you today. Now, thanks to that <laughs> unbelievable 1 HP, which I I knew that was going to happen, <laughs> I, I, I swear. Unfortunately, we didn't get the paralysis, but I guess I was out for too much. So we'll just go for Ultra Balls at this point, so we have no status moves. Because I am prepared. Oh, good. I thought it was going to be a second ball thing again. I guess killing you made you angry or something. So. Okay, I was just done here. Interrupting there for a second. We got hit by Ice Beam. Hit 40 damage. Uh, I'm gonna speed up the footage from here. Sorry for all disorientated music. Okay, switch Pokemon. Uh, PP, go. There goes PP. Hanakuna is being very stubborn. Interrupted by my computer that time. Alright, then we took, uh, let's see, I think I was on 42, so that was taking 39 balls. Not bad. And we're gonna call you one. Uno. Alright, so, kind of said there, we don't need to explore this full dungeon unless you want to see the items, which you probably do, don't you? Holy lazy bunch of people don't want to, don't want to investigate yourself, so you want to go get other people to check the cabins and see what items they can pick up. Oh well, I guess I can look. Oh look, Ultra Ball. Great. You were shiny, then I don't care. Okay, two stairs up from where I was currently before. You can find a big pearl. Take the next staircase up. You can find a water stone, which I'll, I'll show you directly because that's an important item. This is where I was before, I was right here a second ago. Um, let's see. Anything I need to do in this room? Nope. Might as well keep showing you until I run to another counter. Revives over here. Oh, you know, it's actually Zoo, but uh, I'm gonna go up back to the top floor where we were when we entered the place. Zoo bats, speed away. All right, Psyduck. Wow, anyway, if you come back over here in the first area, you'll find the second bowl we need to push down. I think we got all the items. All the items before. So, the last item we need to get is just by pushing this boulder in and going through the area. But, like I said before, it could just be an alternative sh yeah, shortcut. Let 
many people I uh, believe actually do the full puzzle of being able to get to Wanakuna in the first place. Not really much else here. But anyway, pushing those few bullets down, rock the current so you can go here, which if you go right here, I think it's... Uh, um, no, I know there's an item here. No item? Really? Okay, well, you get that nice little area that looks like you can go down, but you can't. Blocked by ice. Uh, if you go this way, you can find me back here. Okay, and there's a gold duck. I'm missing something here, hold on. Maybe, maybe I'll just get out of the exit and then sort of something. But it's a waterfall there. Hey, and there's a side duck, and there's a gold duck, and this doesn't end. Where's with Dugon? I haven't really seen Dugon yet. I know you can find Dugons in this area as well. But no Dugon. Dugon! <sighs> anyway, let's just leave. Anyway, that's a quick way to get to the exit from that side, which will lead you to Cinema Island. Anyway, next time we'll go be heading to. That's uh, familiar. And we're gonna go catch the boat for the first time. So, see you guys then.